What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all had a great Christmas with your families. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Gus Noah. And now let's get into tutorial number seven. Yeah, I swear I know what it's like to feel alone at the end of the night. Maybe you don't know it, but it gets better. So the topic that I'm going to be showing you all today is a motion blur effect that you can apply to your hyperlapses. What it does is just that it makes it more dramatic with the blur effect. There is no in-camera transitions needed for this effect to work. So now let's just get into Premiere Pro so I can show you how to create this effect. Okay, so now that we're in Premiere, let's look at our timeline. We're gonna be using this clip of a hyperlapse that I took on a beach in Iceland to do this effect. So the first step to accomplish this effect, let's select the clip and press Command R or Alt R and you're gonna see this little window pop up right here that says clip speed duration. So then, next thing you wanna do is go down to time interpolation and you're gonna see frame sampling. You're gonna to wanna to click that. And you're gonna see three options pop down. And you're gonna to wanna to pick the second one called frame blending and then press okay. There you can see the blur already kicking in and the sand right there. And another thing that I like to do to make it more dramatic, I like to speed up the clip. So press R on your keyboard and go to the end of the clip and drag it in. You can go in as much as you want. I'm gonna go around there. So let me render this clip out real quick. Okay, so now that I finished rendering, let's look at the clip. And as you see right there in the sand you could see that blur what the frame blending does is when you speed it up or a hyperlapse or whatever especially when you speed up anything you can do it in a drone shot as well as long as you're going forward for a good amount of time that you could speed it up a good amount like 200 percent 300 percent or more you can add frame blending to it to blend the frames together to add that blur and it works very well with hyperlapses and also with drone shots so but we're doing a hyperlapse right now, and as you see, it's in working perfectly in the sand, adding that nice blur. So that's how you add motion blur to your hyperlapses, and if this tutorial helped you in any kind of way, please subscribe and like. I will be trying to do a tutorial week, and thank you for watching.